www.educator.com. End of the classical period here. We're talking about the concerto, which we talked about in the Baroque, and also solo instrumental works. We're sort of combining all those uh, big instrumental genres into one lesson today. So let's just jump in and see what in the world we are talking about. The solo concerto in the classical period is going to be very similar to the Baroque, just with even more development. Um, now, if you remember, it's sort of a, a concerto, just to sort of redefine, a soloist with orchestra. And it's meant to showcase the virtuosic capabilities of the instrumentalist or the instrument itself. And not much has actually changed with that in the classical. We, we sort of have that same format, because if you remember, it didn't develop, it was a late developing form in the Baroque. So it landed into the classical and just sort of continued. In contrast to the Baroque, more instruments were used. We're getting away from just the violin. We're actually getting into piano, um, different woodwinds. You're going to see even horn concertos, um, brass. And you're, you're sort of finding that the composer's like, oh, we have players we can write for these people. And what's interesting is if you go historically and look up these pieces, you're going to see that like Mozart did not just randomly come up with the idea to write a horn concerto. There was someone he had in mind to play it. Um, same with a lot of these guys who, like Haydn worked at a court, he knew the musicians in the orchestra that he used. He knew who could play certain things, and so he would write certain things for those people to showcase their abilities. Not altogether, unlike the Baroque opera with the da capo aria, which was meant to showcase those big grandiose singers. So anyway, back to the concerto. We see a decline of the concerto grosso. Pretty much disappears. It's done. Why? Well, it kind of did its thing. It developed uh, the instrumental genre of showcasing the orchestra, but now the symphony is doing that, just the orchestra. Then you have the solo concerto, and you also have these solo instrumental works. So concerto grosso kind of disappears. Composers that come back again. What a shocker. Haydn, Mozart, and Beethoven. Oh my gosh. Really? I'm so surprised. And it's not the last we're going to hear of them or Beethoven because he goes into the Romantic period. Well, what we see in the solo concerto and solo instrumental works is that the styles that we talked about in the symphony of each of those three are going to be very similar. You're going to see a lot of imitation, a lot of counterpoint, and a lot of variations in form. 